All right, welcome to part two of the Expedition Outpost video. And I've pulled out all the pieces, they're all laying here. I've switched to an old lens be so I can have a little bit more wide open. In fact, I'm gonna bump this back just a little bit more and refocus it because I'd like to get as much in as possible even though my little setup won't allow for it to be huge. I can also see already see with these and these pieces <laughs> this might not be a big enough. We may have a clock tower situation on. If you're not familiar with that, go check out part two of building the clock tower, as this is part two of building the expedition post. But I pulled out all the pieces from the pieces of plastic, and there's a piece here that I find really interesting that could potentially really change up how Jazzwares puts out uh, things like play sets or, or even vehicles or something, in the future and that's this piece right here it is a T piece TP anyway you can grab a building material and you can hook it to there to there or to there you there are these just little things that will make good connectors these are these are potentially really cool and I'm not gonna be surprised if we start seeing this kind of stuff more often so we get a lot of different pieces. We have a couple walls here. We have some flooring right here. We've got a zip line item here. We have a satellite dish. We have a flagpole. We have a bunch of these little T connectors, I think five, five or six of them. We have, I would almost classify this as a Mu building material type because it's that same square as the wood, metal, and brick. Although officially in game, this isn't a thing. But I like it. Get me a bunch of these and you know we could build something probably kind of cool then we got some exhaust air panels it looks like and then we have pieces of the tent over here and here's another piece of the tent or tent shape so the big thing is you know we're gonna build this on video the whole thing so let's get actually i'm gonna take a peek here at the instructions because i'm not gonna do this by guessing there are 19 steps to this process so I've kind of got these things generally very very gen generally laid out here in different ways and I really wish I could actually have a bigger further away uh, shot here for you but I don't so bear with me I'll try to keep things that are visible in up front here so the first two things we are going to grab is this and this they've got this blue runner pipe thing on there we're gonna hook these together now when you hook these pieces together always take this part that has the little nubs here and push it downward in fact if you look at the receiving end you'll see a little bit of a gap here well actually they now have gaps on the top and bottom I usually have gone from the bottom up but it looks like you can go top up but just pop them together just like that and you're starting to get some sort of flooring going on here so take the next piece and where are we gonna put it we're gonna put it right here snap snap remember what I told you in the clock tower video if you hear pops that's a good noise so we can we could probably move that and do something else if we wanted to I think this is gonna be our flooring so we're gonna set that right there because I think we're gonna be working off of that step number three we're gonna take the door like so I'm gonna keep scooting stuff away I believe we're going to look at the door this way but it shows it this way we're going to connect it to this side, to the piece that only has the single blue L-shaped pipe here. Um, hmm. That doesn't... Oh, that way matches up. Maybe that's going to be the roof. I think this piece is going to have to go. So, But it shows it being laid out like this, so we'll do it like this, right? Lay it down. I suppose I don't have to lay this down, but pop, 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 pop. 
I'm going to have a video about how to hook some of this stuff together because some people have said, oh, you, you can do it because you're an adult or, you know, that's just, you know, you have easy pieces. Well, I've learned a little bit about building material and how these things hook together. So I'm going to have a video uh, devoted to building material at some point. At some point, now we take this piece and we do it like this and we put it over here on this side of the door. Hope this is actually in focus as well as I want it to be. Sorry, moving my light around a little bit here. Okay, so I'll do that. You can kind of see that. Kind of see. Come on. There we go. I'm going to rotate my, or move my camera up just a little bit. All right. So then the next piece, or the next thing we're going to do is going to make a box. So we're going to rotate that in. Then we're going to lay this down, and it is a roof. I thought it was a floor, but it's a roof. So now we have the door. So we check my focus here real quick. So we got the door that opens. Apparently not there. Boom, there. Door that opens. Have a window. We have a roof. We have a cube. We built a cube. We're awesome. Next, we're going to grab, so I'm going to set the cube off to the side, over here. Next, we're going to be utilizing this piece. It's kind of an L-shaped silver and gray thing. And all, remember these connectors I was saying are really cool? We're going to hook them all along here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we are going to connect which side? Oh, actually, we're not really going to... Oh, no way. I didn't really look too much into this. I just know what these do. It looks like you can connect on a fourth side as well. This flat side. Look at that. They become a really cool four directional connector. They are going to, if they can, if Jazzwares can keep this up, they are going to be able to put out some really awesome things in the future with these little connectors by the way i'll just kind of tell you something i did i don't know if you know i'm not a big channel by any means and i don't know if anyone will listen to me but jazzwares put out on instagram their uh drone their battle bus drone and something about you know cool high flying adventures i don't remember I replied, and I said, wouldn't it be cool? You guys should put out a new Jumbo Llama this year and put a buildable four-inch scale battle bus in it. So, you know, just because I say something doesn't mean it's going to happen. But they did reply saying, ooh, that's an interesting idea. So, who knows? See if I can get some influence in the world. I'm going to get our cube back here. Then we're going to put it this way. So what is it we're going to put this way? Well, I tend to think... So if you notice, let's set this here. As I mentioned, mentioned, these have multiple connectors here. Sorry if this goes in and out of focus. I'm doing manual focus so it doesn't do a zoom uh, automatic focus. But anyway, when you hook it to this thing... You're going to be hooking it to this outside. Not this one, but this part. I know that because when I put this like this, see where it lines up? Let's see. I'm going to take it out of uh, manual focus. may have to do this back and forth. But if you see where it lines up, it lines up quite nicely with the with this side. And the same thing here. Pop, pop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. No, not really. There's no relief with a Fortnite building contraptions, right? But this one, this wants to give me a little bit of a struggle. All right. So let's try it from this other way. Come on, you pop. 
Now it's a little difficult because this isn't super sturdy. It's not like it's attached to, it's not like it's one of these where you can force them together. This is kind of a loose thing that rotates. See if the top of the video here kind of rotates back and forth. So getting a good push on it actually Like so, you'll eventually get it in there if you work with it a little bit. Would I say this is a difficult thing? Not really. There's some awkwardness to it. So let's aim it that way. And you can kind of see right here how it's connected. That's pretty neat. Next, we're going to be connecting some canopy stuff. So let's find canopy H. Ooh, I don't know which one's canopy H. But I knew... I knew, I know we have wall K, here's wall K. So canopy H, I'm guessing is this one. Yeah, I'm think, uh, no. No, 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 this is rounded, okay. So real quick, take note of the different canopy pieces. This one is rounded, it's not really possible for that to hook there. This one is straight, it's a lot more possible, well, this way for this to hook there. And in fact, that's what we're doing. We're gonna pop the canopy top on the wall bottom like so. And then we're gonna try to keep the instructions on my knee. Then this run out of pieces, we're getting close. That's gonna hook like so push it on and you wanna you're gonna want to hold these because they're gonna still want to rotate and kind of switch around on you but like I said before just kind of work with it a little bit push and hold two hands is always the better option here as the bottom one really wants to move around this is really cool how they've uh, how they've done some, how they've uh, designed this up. This is really, really neat. I may make some of this seem like it's difficult. What it's more so is just slightly awkward. Trying to hold different parts of it together. And then, you know what, hang on. I'm going to up my camera just a little bit and aim down. Because I'm doing some top stuff now. There we go. Readjust focus, there we go. So, and then I'm gonna connect it up here to this piece. And perhaps, there we go. So it connects to this middle one right here, connects to this middle one here and this lower one. I think once you got that going, and that's kind of cool. You've got this exterior shot, and that's her piece, and that's just because of that. So that's neat. That's This has come together quite nicely. Sorry it's a long video, but I really wanted to build the whole thing for you on video. So flipping my, making a lot of crackly noise. Next, we're going to get this piece and this piece. So these are our next two pieces that we're going to work with. We're going to connect these. Now that I've done that, i got to hold stuff up higher. Pop, pop, just like anything else. And it can come back. In fact, it shows in the book like this, but that's, that's the gist of it here. So, I think I know what they're going to do. They're going to connect. I'm going to scoot this thing around here. They're going to connect this, connect, connect this and this right here together. So I'll raise that up and we'll do that here. Wow, that was an easy connection. Then we're going to rotate this around. And I'm going to rotate the whole thing. And what's going to happen is you see these three pieces. They're going to, this piece right here, along there, are going to rest right on top of this. And kind of hook themselves in there like so so that if it will actually stay this is too uh 
This is too wiggly over here. Too wiggly. Stay. Stay. Ah, I'm going to have to have another piece, another connector before I can show you what it's doing. I think you get the idea, though, what it's doing. It just doesn't want to want that. So we're going to come up then with this piece and this piece next. And this position, or how this one goes, is like that. The receivers and the um, connectors, I guess is what I'll call them. Then this is going to not matter which way it goes. We're going to connect it like so. Wow, that's really loose. Let's do it the other way. I don't feel like it's connecting. That's funny to say, I don't think it's connecting. Then that is going to hook on here. Now make sure this is on the outside because there are connectors along here that if you have this on the inside, it's going to be a problem. So we'll connect that there. And then again, this is going to lay on those pieces and that works a whole lot better. I'm going to adjust my camera down. Hang on. So let's look up at this piece, at this thing. So see how this kind of sets like right there. This is this is better the way they've got these connected. It doesn't uh, do the same thing over here. But the idea is it sits there and then this camera back up. Bear with me a lot of camera work is is happening here. Then this, I guess I need to go higher. Boom. <laughs> Just leave it up maybe. All right, reset the focus because yes. So what's going to help this is or sorry. What's going to help this middle section stay here is this hard connection to this little cool new piece. And again, it's not difficult, it's just awkward. Because I'm trying to hold it and brace it with one hand. Oh, and it actually kind of even came out a little bit. That's a problem. And you can't push really hard here because this is going to collapse on you. So that's another thing is don't just try to shove it down because you're going to pop this whole thing apart, which is very counterproductive to what you want. You're trying to build it, not tear it apart. So there we go. Pop. I heard it. There. Now, now this piece is staying quite nicely. It is staying quite nicely. Okay. So I'm just kind of looking to hear things for a second. Readjust lights. I don't know if that matters. All right. We only have a few pieces left. Let's set them right here so you can see what we've got. Hey, it's like a little sword. Anga. So we only got a few things. Satellite dish, flagpole, zip line. Those are going to be pretty easy to attach. I'm going to set my, my cheat sheet instructions over here in the corner. Get them off my knee. So we've got this little bipod. And we've got this thing, the red thing. And it connects like so. I can't tell if this is a easy or a the there we go. It should be a little stiff. Shouldn't be real easy. Then that will sit. Rotate. So yeah, there we go. We've got that piece. And then next it just says uh start connecting some stuff. Cool. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear tear. Take all this stuff out one more time. We're going to rotate this entire beastie. This is really cool, by the way. This is so neat. I'm going to rotate the camera. I don't think my camera can go up any higher. Oh, it can go a little higher. Rotate that to about maybe like so. Refocus. Okay. That's going to be the theme of this video. It's called refocus. So up here, look on top. You've got this one on the far side with two pegs, and that's where this thing goes see the two pegs on this so sit right there or 
can peg those in, then peg that in, and then you've got that. Now don't try to push it down. See what happens when you push this down? You push it down, you're going to be breaking this whole side apart and all that hard work you've done. It doesn't need a lot. Just keep your hand under it and push it in like so. And there you go. Next will be the zip line. In fact, this is actually like one side of the zip line. The zip line looks like this. That's kind of a cool little play feature, I have to say. And we will connect the zip line like so. Oop, there we go. Now we will connect the zip line like so. There. Um, small problem. It doesn't go, go anywhere. That's okay. I'll show you uh, how that works in a moment. Next, we've got a satellite dish. And the satellite dish has a hole. And it will attach to the middle section here. Again, don't just like leave your hands off and push down. Brace it with your hand underneath and push it on. Got a couple more things. So you have a flagpole and a hole. Right here is where it goes. This side's a little bit better. You can push it, but I would still put your hand underneath while you push it in just to brace it just a little bit. And we have this piece. Oops. Oopsie, I didn't do this quite right. Going to refocus. Refocus. Going to try to bring the brightness down just a little. All right. Too much. So this piece connects to the satellite dish, like right here. So we'll take that sideways. Now we'll take it off. So this will connect right here. There's a little hole in the satellite dish. We'll slide that in there. So this piece is not going to connect directly to that satellite dish. It just does that. And you can put this right back on. And there you go. And then you have, let's see if I can back up here. Bring my camera back here. Then you have a completed expedition outpost. Here, we'll do a nice little fancy pan. And I'll autofocus now. But yeah, that is the Expedition Outpost. So back to something I mentioned. You know, we got the zip line going nowhere. Well, where does it go? I don't have it on me at the moment. In fact, was really, oh, actually, here we go. These things on the end of the zip line. I'm going to pull my camera back in. Right here. Okay, maybe those too cold. Too full, too close. So we got this. That will connect to building materials such as this. Kind of like so. And why is that cool? Because then you can build a structure with all that pile of building material. And you can connect it. And then there's a zip line. It goes back and forth. That's actually really neat how well that works. So I'm going to look into a few things. I might pop up with a third Expedition Outpost video in the future. There's a few things I'm going to research and look into. But what do you think of this? This is pretty cool. I like this playset. It's fun. Here is Mr. Mission Specialist. And we'll maybe not open his door. Let's do this. Pop. There we go. Mission to Mars, right? I and mean, who says this has to be Fortnite related? You've got a cool potential little space playset here. Pretend this isn't an expedition. Maybe, maybe this is a Martian setup. You know, this is cool. This is neat. Let's readjust that uh, brightness. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and watching this kind of long video about building it. It's 20 or so minutes. But I hope that you found this helpful. I hope you found this useful. If you get one and you need help putting it together, I hope this has worked for you. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe so you're notified when all of my new videos come out. Notification for absolute sure to be notified. But thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. See you on the next video.